गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम ओनली 19 स्टूडेंट्स ना व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स हां दे विल जॉइन मैडम ओके लेट्स वेट फॉर देम जॉइन इन नेक्स्ट वीक सो गेट रेडी विद द प्रैक्टिकल सेशन आई विल इन्फॉर्म द डेट एज सून एज पॉसिबल एंड द टाइम सो मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट let me share screen with you i already uh, shared i already shared the practical guide then let me first practical guide practical guide with you you can uh, download it from the chat it is available in the chat um, okay uh, in last week uh, we were discussed about some basic concept associate with uh, mobile application development uh, today let's uh, discuss some practical uh, scenarios uh, about this mobile application development uh, before starting practical session how many students install android application for your laptop android studio for your lap laptops if you ask if you have successfully installed uh, please raise hand or did you faced any issue when uh, installing and downloading mobile app uh, sorry android studio only two students what about others did you faced any difficulties when a uh, downloading and installing only three students four only seven students what about others mm. Let's try to arrange some practical session. That means physical practical session after the new year break. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now uh, I'm going to start your first program with Android application. Uh, I'm going to share my own. Wait. Yeah. This one. Uh, first, you can open your Android Studio. It takes some time. Before that, can you all hear me? Yes. <clears throat> yes, madam. We can hear you clearly, sir. Okay. So, like this, uh, you can create. Uh, you can open Android app, Android Studio. Let's take some time. So, this is okay. Let's create. Your, uh, before that. Uh, Go to your first practical guide. Uh, in the first practical guide, uh, first you need to open your Android Studio and create the Android project. And name is as a design. In, uh, sorry, this is not the first practical guide. This is the pra first practical guide. In this case, uh, first you can open the Android Studio. Uh, then wait. Let's to start from the beginning. You can there are some background noise. I'm going to make you all look. Okay. <laughs> Can you all see my Android Studio? 
Yes, madam. Okay, we are going to create a project. You can create a new project. Okay, uh, so you can prefer this practical guide with me. Uh, so first you can open Android Studio, then you can create an Android project with empty activity you can select an empty activity this is the empty activity then you can click on next button okay so this is the configure version of your project uh, you can give any project name and if you want to change the package you can change the package and you can uh, select this location that means save location and the java then the minimum api level uh, so you can change these settings according to your preference but now uh, you need to follow your and uh, you need to follow your practical guide once so we create a project as test hello world uh, you can give the name as test hello world like this then you can select the java there are two official language before 2017 java is the official language of android studio but after 2017 uh, kotlin become the official language but in your level that means in your uh, course module we are going to discuss android studio with java so you can select the java mm, Yes. Madam, uh, what is the difference with uh, Java and Kotlin language? Sorry? Uh, <clears throat> what is the difference of uh, Java and Kotlin language in here? These are the two languages. So the, when we are coding, our language practices are differ from each other. Okay. So this is also a language. This is Kotlin language but you are familiar with java that's why uh, i choose java for this android application development so you can select the java then you can change the save location according to your preference uh, then uh, according to the practical guide you need to find uh, set the minimum api level as 14 ice cream sandwich or oh, yeah ice cream sandwich so you can select any api level according to your preference uh, so api 9 for android 2.3 uh, then uh, api 18 for android 4.3 likewise uh, in this practical guide uh, i'm selecting uh, android 4.0 ice cream sandwich okay uh, then you can click on the finish this is your project it takes some time to load okay did you anyone face any issue or any error when creating this application if you have any error uh, you can put it into the chat okay then let's move to the fourth this is the third uh, part in your practical guide then let's move to the fourth in this case fourth part uh, in this case uh, you need to open android sdk manager before that uh, what is this sdk manager sdk
in last week we we are discuss about this is uh, excuse, excuse me madam madam can you give me the five minutes for to do practical sorry can you give me uh, madam in ari park kendra denna bome api yotan denna me practical ekak karana gama okay for the lord the machine okay i'll give you five minutes Uh, session how many students can participate hello oh yes madam i think if i are doing some practical session how many students can participate if i am all can students can participate Okay. If someone have uh, some problem, please use the chat and inform the madam. If you okay. have any question. Okay, Pita. So there is uh, another question. So net ninety P one twenty one, and so this is about web technology. Yes, madam. Okay, but I will check it with the department. Uh, sorry, faculty. Uh, I'm not sure, but we have to finish your uh, like technology for release your. Uh, examination results that's why uh, we will plan to conduct it as soon as possible uh, let's see okay i think now you are finished or do you want some extra time Uh, I finish, madam. But uh, it's still loading. Ah, uh, still building. Uh, yes, madam. Okay. What about others? Did you follow me? Okay. Uh, so then, ah, uh, we need as a next part, ah, uh, we need to check with the uh, Android SDK manager. SDK stand for which software development kit. Ah, uh, so in this ah uh, SDK, ah, uh, it is consist with libraries and tools uh, that can be used for android application developments okay so you can see this android you can go to this window not window sorry this tools under this tool category you can find sdk manager then avd manager uh, avd is stand for what AVD stand for Android Virtual Device. SDK stand for Software Development Kit. Okay, so under this tool, you can find these two managers. Uh, manager. Mm, so in SDK Manager, you can see there are some settings. Oh, there are some. Yeah, there are some settings about the uh, projects. Uh, so under this. Uh, Under this project, uh, you can see there is a setting setting called appearance and the behavior. Uh, you can click on this appearance and behavior uh, under the under this settings. There are so many 
So it is as a path variable, quick list, notification, Android SDK, uh, then password, HTTP port proxy, and so on. Under this uh, Android SDK, uh, you can see some installed version of Androids for your Android Studio. So you can see uh, these are the install Android version for this Android studio i already installed android 7.11 uh, and android 7.0 android 6.0 mass mirror version then this is the lollipop version and these two are lollipop version these are the installed android versions by using this uh, sdk uh, you can check which android versions are already installed into your android studio then the next one is android virtual device manager uh, you can see it's also available under the tool so this is the android uh, virtual device manager under by using this one you can create new virtual device uh, for your testing purpose so let's create a new virtual devices uh, before that uh, i already created two virtual devices uh, nexus and the pixel these are the two already installed or already created uh, virtual devices uh, let's create one cre uh, virtual devices together you can create virtual devices by using this button create virtual device you can click on this one then according to your practical guide you need to select 3.4 wqvga device uh, let's find it you can uh, easily find by using this size 3.4 this one uh, i think not 3.4 yeah 3.4 wqvg this one wqvg this is the device you can select this name like this mm, then uh, you need you can see any clone devices if you need to clone any devices uh, you can choose any settings uh, so there is another <coughs> before that uh, you can create any category if you want to test it with the tv device uh, you can select the tv if you need to test it with the phone you can select phone where tablet this one where operating system you can use this one but in uh, mobile application development uh, we are going to test your device that means created application with uh, virtual mobile phones so you can click on this one then you can easily select any version or any type of your virtual device uh, so i select this one then you can click on the next button so under this next button you can find uh, there are different version of uh, android api level you can download it uh, directly by clicking on this download link uh, i already downloaded uh, this lollipop 5.1 api uh, if you need to download any one any other one you can click on download then you can click on this accept i'm going to sorry i'm going to uh, download this one accept then next and it will take some time to download so let's download this one you need to select android application android application 5.1 one but i'm um, downloading i for your reference how to download process please follow me it takes some time to download uh, it's wait until it download
But in your practical guide, you need to download Lollipop Android 5.1 version. Then you can click on next. Then you can give any name for your virtual device. Uh, so uh, in your practical guides, uh, it's name as 3.4 WQVGA PI 16.2. You can give name like it. Then you can click on the finish button. So now you can see it's creating Android virtual devices. Okay, you can see this is the newly created virtual device. You can uh, use this. Excuse me, madam. Sorry. Okay, go madam, ahead. Uh, madam, madam, uh, Android virtual device manager, it's not a good thing. 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 Android virtual device manager, madam. ट any device definition according to your preference if you need to test with uh, tv category you can use this one that one uh, if you need to test with phone you can use you can select this one uh, if you need to test with tablet you can select this one likewise you can choose any category according to your preference then you can select your uh, android device manager that means virtual device manager so these are the available uh, and the function and the density in your preference uh, you can see that but in your practical guide it is necessary to select a 3.4 w vga then uh, you can after that you can select any system image according to your preference uh, so then uh, you can select on the next button and do other things okay so this is my newly created uh, android virtual mesh device uh, we can use this uh, and virtual device testing purpose okay okay then, according to students according to your practical guide this virtual devices is known as a emulator so this is the emulator 
we already created these are known as emulators so you can use any emulators to check your mobile application okay then uh, next move to the other parts uh, so in this case uh, you need to uh, before that do you have any issue or any error when doing these uh, things did you face any issue like this failed link in reference or error in manifest file okay if not go to the file settings uh, then you can expand and behave expand appearance and the behavior then click on the appearance okay let's move to the file device we already create virtual machine just remove this one then you can go to the file um, under the file uh, you can see some setting categories these are the setting categories uh, you can change the settings uh, but in your practical guides uh, they suggest you to change the theme and the font size according to your preference okay uh, you can change okay so you can click on under appearance and behavior you can see the appearance uh, setting you can click on this one so you can change the theme so i'm going to change this now uh, there are three types of themes dracula high contrast and the intellij uh, you can choose uh, one one theme according to your according to your preference uh, if you are preferred to work with dracula uh, you can click on this one and then click on apply button so at that time you can see appearances change from IntelliJ to Dracula theme uh, but I don't like this theme okay now I'm going to change this one to IntelliJ okay you can change uh, your Android Studio theme according to your preference then you can click on this apply then uh, you can change the font size you can change the font type as well as you can change the font type uh, if you want to display your android studio with high font size uh, you can select the maximum is 72 the minimum is 8 according to your preference you can change these settings is it okay did you change the theme and size? Let's change the size and apply. Yes, I'm going to change it to the 26. You can see. Again, I'm going to change this. I don't. It's very difficult to find. I'm going to change this into 12. This size is okay for me. Uh, you can change your size according to your preference. Okay, any issue? Now we already discussed about how to change the theme of your Android Studio and also how to custom your font and the size. Uh, did you face any issue? Please talk with me. Ah, we made the download. What about others? Yeah, current image got the number of mega me gun. Eh, but they know I record. It is a system maker. If you have any error, you can take a screenshot and put it in the chat. Oh, I Mm -hmm. 
okay now you have an ability to change the theme as well as font size then let's move to the system settings and click on the android sdk uh, system settings also available under this category uh, you can see system this is not available. Uh, under the settings category you can see system settings uh, yeah this is some wait mm, expand system setting click on the sdk and examine the android platform sdk tool edit It's available in this one. This is the system settings. You can see this is the set system setting. It is available under the file, then the appearance. So settings under the settings appearance. You can find this appearance and the behavior under this one. You can see the system settings. So you can change any system settings according to your preference. Okay, Buddha. Uh, soft 9 I think uh, soft 19 B124 you can leave okay so these are the system settings available under appearance and, sorry these are the settings available under the system settings uh, you can change the settings according to your preference uh, then you can examine this one uh, you can see let us start up shut down one then the project opening directory you can uh, set default one according to your preference uh, then some synchronization uh, settings and this then the on close on closing do tool windows with running process you can refer the android documentation uh, for get some idea about this setting okay then uh, next one is the editor uh, you can see editor is also available. this is the editor under the editor uh, you can see there are so many available features general features then the font you can change the font uh, editor font according to your preference then the size line spacing color schemes uh, then the code styles according to your preference that's up to you place both these uh, editor settings and examine what are the available features with this editor uh, then uh, you can move to the view menu and visit tool windows uh, You can see tools window is available under this category web under these uh, tools you can see there are so many settings uh, you can go through this settings then experimental settings uh, key map settings plugins there are so many settings available under this settings category okay i'm going to was this one then uh, as the next part uh, you can move to the view menu and visit tool window so under the view menu you can see tool window under the tool window you can see project this is the shortcut key for key for project then the favorites look at structure building the uh, gradle event log there are so many things available under this tool window then uh, you can move to the run option uh, in the main menu so this is the main menu under the main menu you can find file edit view navigate code analyze refactor build run tool vcs windows and the help uh, under which category uh, run let's move into the run you can run an application by using this option shift f10 is uh, shortcut key for run 
Uh, then the next one is debug. Uh, if you need to debug your application, you can use Shift plus F9. Uh, so these are some settings and the components on the run menu. Then let's move into the tool menu and examine. Uh, you can see these are the tools we already discussed about SDK Manager. Uh, software development kit manager then the avd manager android virtual device manager other than that uh, you can see for this is for kotlin uh, then there are some other layout inspector then app link assistant these are some other settings available under the tool category then uh, you can go to the build menu and uh, you can find out the task for clean project option you can see this under this one uh, you can clean the project and also you can rebuild the project uh, if you have some if you need to clean your project that means if you need to release some cash available in the project that means a uh, cash uh, dedicated for the project uh, you can clean this you can use this clean object to clean the clean project to clean the project and again you can rebuild your project by using this option okay so these are the main things available under android application sorry android studio mm, then if you are facing any portable version issues uh, these are the steps to follow uh, when you are developing some application there are some errors such as failed linking reference and manifest man merger failed with multiple multiple errors at that time you can follow these steps okay this is for you for your reference okay then uh, let's identify what are the project folders available uh, before that let's run this application in this application uh, you can see this is the main activity java file i think you have some idea about java application development so you can see this is a public main activity so this is the class main activity is the class this class extend this one what is meant by extend what is the feature inheritance 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 represent from this extends keyword okay so you can see main activity class extend this class and this is the method okay uh, before moving to other part let's run this uh, map this is a default device that means uh, this is the default application uh, so just run this first you can click on the run app you can select any available virtual devices uh, in my one uh, there are three available virtual devices uh, but according to the practical guide uh, you create this virtual device so i select this one uh, then okay so it takes some time to build Okay, let's wait until this is built. There is an encryption error. Emulator failed. Wait. Madam, could you the emulator uh, start? Kare? Sorry, madam. May Sorry? Emu emulator could you the madam start? Kare? May run. Again. You can click on this run. Run. Mm -hmm. Then you can go to the run, then okay. start it. So, wait, that is an issue. I'm going to cancel this one. Please give me one second. Kita. Can you all hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can select run on this uh, run option, then you can click on the run application. Run app, then you can 
select one of you can select the virtual machine and select this yes select this one then okay then it takes some time to build the project again there is an issue coding issue Like this, you can open your test hello world project. In this case, this is the default one as a Java. But default uh, program is also a hello print hello world. You know? So in this case also, this is the default one. Hello world. Okay. Okay. Did you finish up to this level? Any issue? No one in the class. How many finish up to this level? Sorry, but I never talk in it. Let's take some time. Okay, let's wait for five minutes. It takes some time to build the project. So wait. Or some Marata Android application had the like experience the Nayati, Mommy Basic Tikrani, Kaudava, Android application, Kadalan at the Kinita, Inisar Hima in Nona, while I continue crying under practical guide taker. Okay, if you have any experience with Android, uh, you can continue the practical guide and otherwise you can follow me uh, I'm doing from the basic if you are free, uh, finished you can raise your hand yeah. What about others? I will give you five minutes. Try this screen. Try to run your application. This is a default one. We didn't code anything. Just run your application. Okay, what about others? Only two students with me. What about others? Did you finish up to this? Question, I'm oh, sorry, question five. Not five up to four. Okay, finished. Okay, then let's move into the next part. In next question, that means uh, in part number five, uh, you need to check the projects folder and file hierarchy and expand manifest folder. Okay, so you can expand your 
manifest folder before that uh, you need to move to the project view there are so many views as project view package view project files then the project source file then project non-source file and so on uh, you can click this project view uh, then you can see your project uh, this is the file location you can expand this project at that time you can see some folders uh, so first you need to move to the manifest then the job folder okay um, you can uh, change the we when uh, check with the what are the available structure so this is about packages so then the project under this uh, test hello you can see ready then the idea then app these are the available folders then go so in this one uh, you can see these are the available projects and the files Under the project source file, you can see test, then the Java. Under the Java, you can see test hello. These are the available files. Then main Java. Under the, this is the test hello. This is the main activity, this one. Uh, then Android test. Same hierarchy. You can see this is the test file. Mm, then under the build category you can see generated uh, under this one you can find risk folder under the risk value these are the available things then the source apd then the build configuration please go through this base and check whether what are the available project folder sorry folders and the libraries i will give you three minutes okay then uh, let's move into this one uh, you can first you can open manifest folder then you can open android manifest xml file so this uh, manifest manifest folder is available under the android view uh, you can click on this android view uh, then you can see under this app you can see there are four available folders as manifest java generated java then and the res then that means res uh, so you can click this uh, manifest and you can open android manifest.xml so this is the manifest xml in your lecture note i think i included this one mm. this one in your lecture note two, I think. Yeah, this is the Android manifest. Under this XML file, you can see Android versions and other information, fact, uh, main activities and the packages and so on. Okay, let's discuss this XML file in lecture, not in the practical session. Uh, then the next part is uh, 
you need to move to the java folder first okay let's move into the java folder i'm going to close this one you can find man android manifest.xml under the android view then app under the app you can find manifest folder under the manifest folder you can find this android manifest xml file this is the file okay then let's move into the java folder under java folder we need to find the main activity dot java so this is the main activity dot java file this is the java file we are going to create any app that means activities or any other things by use any other components by using this java file okay Mm, so these are about testing no need to worry about testing this just go to this main activity so you can see under this one these are the available features and this is the main class and this main class extend this class and these are the codes available under this java file okay then let's move into uh, part number eight uh, you need to find the r folder okay generated java folder. Uh, before that uh, this is yeah you need to find the build config java file first um, under the this java generated java uh, you can find this build configuration file this is the configuration file level associated with this java you can see the version then the version code and these are some other available things okay then uh, next move into the tenth part uh, in this case uh, you need to find the java folder uh, sorry r folder uh, to find r folder uh, you need to move for the to the project view under project view uh, this is if your android version is uh, early than 2020 this is the way to find the r folder uh, if your android studio is uh, latest version you can use this path for finding r file okay so, under this app you can see build uh, under this one generate uh, this one to talk r folder okay so this is my r folder this is my r dot java try to find this r dot java file Try to this. Try to find this r.java file again. I will explain the path. Uh, if your Android uh, version is before 2020, that means Android version that early than 2020, this is the path. If your Android version is latest one, that means after 2020, this is the path for finding r.java file so in my version it's latest version that means it's after 2020 so this is the way to find this r.java file so project name app build intermediates and this are this is the path okay you can follow this one under this one app then sorry app build then generated not name space not spaced r class source under this one debug in the process debug resources r folder in this case uh, this is the under dot com example test hello world r dot java is trying to find this one i will give you two minutes
if you have any doubt now you can raise your questions or otherwise you can use chat no questions Okay. Ketika ho ketika. Did you finish? With this one. What about others? Okay. This is the path, Buddha. This is the path for new version. You can move to the project view. Uh, then you can click on like this. Wait. Uh, you. This is for new version. This is the path. This is the path for new version. You can click on test hello. You can first. You need to change the view. You need to. Change your view into the project view. Then uh, you can click on this one. You can see app under this uh, test hello world. You can click on this app. Then build with folder. Under build folder, you can see four folders, but you need to select generated one. This is for new version. Then under this generated one, you can find node not name spaced folder you can click on this one then click on debug uh, then process debug resources under this uh, process debug resources you can find this r folder r folder you can see there are three folders as android android x and com uh, under this com folder you can see the example folder under the example you can see your project test hello world under this test hello world, you can find r.java file. Okay. This is for new version. If your Android version is old version, you can follow this one. I highlighted this. I'm going to highlight. This is for old version. Okay. <laughs> Ketika, oh ketika. Now is it okay? Okay. Yeah, same. After the lecture. Okay, okay. I know there are some issues um, when running Android applications, so don't worry about it. Mm. Okay, uh, I will upload this one to the Google Classroom, then you can follow practical session. Uh, after that, uh, you can ask your question in next week. Peter Sun, what about you? Uh, my machine... Able to find the <coughs> file? Uh, no matter, my machine is going to some crash, so application is closed. Now I again start. Okay.
let's arrest, arrange some physical practical session. What about others? If you are finished up to this level, please raise hand. Okay, only two students. Uh, what about others? If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. All the one who is on the hand. ंबर so expand rs folder expand layout then open the activity activity main xml file uh, you need to switch between code view and the design view after that you can zoom in or zoom out your interface according to your preference let's see how to do this uh, you need to move to res folder res folder yes Mm, this is also available under app category. Uh, access. Please give me one second.
okay uh, let's find this uh, this folder first uh, it is available under project view uh, you can go to the project file or project view under this one uh, you can find this app under the app you can find build function not build function srt folder you can move to this srt X, src folder then wait please give me one second okay then uh, you can move to this res under this res you can find the layout folder under this layout you can see active dot main xml then you can open this one okay again uh, i'm going to repeat the path uh, you can move it move to project files you it is easy uh, you can move to this project file uh, then click on this one uh, so you can see under this uh, project fi file wave uh, gradle then idea then the app under this app folder uh, you can see build uh, then lips and src uh, choose src uh, under this src uh, wait and under this src you can find this main folder under under this main folder you can find this res folder under this res for uh, not res we are going to find activity.main xml no? wait this is available under uh, main for Right. Again, I miss it. Please give me one second. Under this app, uh, then SRC. Under this SRC, then. under this rest folder, you can see the layout. Under this layout, you can find activity.a main xml please try to find this file first then let's move to next part this is available under project or project uh, file view uh, you can choose any view uh, then under this one you can find the app under app folder you can find the src folder src folder you can find main folder under main folder you can find this rest folder under rest folder there is under rest folder uh, there is a folder called as layout uh, you can find activity.main main xml within this layout folder try to uh, find this xml file If you are found, please let me know. With the soon? Yes, madam. Did you find this one? Uh, not yet, madam. Okay. Ethica is found. What about others? Try to find this one.
Rename your device with your student number as well as your name. Otherwise, it's difficult to take that. Okay, uh, so this is the activity dot main XML. Uh, so you can see there are two views as design view and the text view. This is the text view. Uh, so this this is the XML file and this is the text view and design this is the design view. Uh, you can see these are the available features under Design view, uh, you can see, you can find button, then the image view, recycle view, then the switch, widgets layout. In next week, we are going to discuss about these components in detail, each and every component in detail. So don't worry. So if you need to add checkbox, uh, you can just click and drag and just click this one and you can drag and drop into your project. Uh, this is the hello world. Uh, if you need, please give me one second. Okay. Mm, so you can add any button, radio group, any image, uh, anything according to your preference. So this is a button. Uh, it is this component, this is the button. Uh, so you can change the size and the location according to your preference. Uh, uh, and also you can zoom in and zoom out your layout this view uh, by using these two uh, if you need to zoom out this is the minimum size uh, if you need to zoom in you can zoom in your layout by using this small button okay so this is the indented button okay You can change them according to your preference, okay? Okay, and next week, uh, let's develop some application. Uh, this is the button. You can see it's cracked side style, it's cracked layout. Uh, so these are the things available under the MXL sorry activity.main MXL. Uh, you can change this into the text view or design view. Uh, you can find this newly added button. So if you add any component into this uh, layout uh, automatically it generates the coding text view okay mm, let's try some example in next day mm, no need to put your student number into the chat just rename your device with your student number and the name mm, okay that is a error Okay, let's discuss these headers and things in next week. Don't worry. Uh, get familiar with these views and these buttons and so on. We just let's discuss about we just 
next week these are the layouts so you can choose any layout according to your preference uh, so these are the available features all these features can be changed by using this activity dot activity underscore main dot mxl xml file so okay then uh, then let's move into next part Um, okay you can move then the next one is value folder you need to find the value folder then open string string dot xml file then you can switch between code view and design view as previous okay let's move to the value so this is the value under this uh, rest folder you can find the values under values uh, you can find three xml file uh, under this one xml uh, you can see this is the app name you if you need to change your app name before that let's run this one some Please give one second it takes sometimes to close the virtual device. My connection also unstable. <laughs> okay. I think now it's okay. Mm. Let's run again. Just this one first. There are some warnings, no need to worry about the warnings. Okay, this is your <coughs> application. I you already insert button to this uh, application this is the button you can see this is the application name if you need to change this name uh, you can change it in this place try to change the string name that means uh, application name try to change and see whether it will change or not i will give you two minutes try to change the app name it worked okay i think the car try with with a different name uh, what about others okay, um, madam change madam i i also changed the application as nice world uh, okay then let's move into the next part. Uh, okay, this is also finished. Uh, then go to the activity main Excel and can be familiar with the design view and the XML view. Um, so this. Uh, so, 
I'm going to mute you all. There are some background noises. Okay. Mm. So you can identify the text uh, attribute, like that means text view attributes and other things available under this activity.main in Excel. Uh, you can move to the activity.mail.xml. Uh, so this is the XML file. Uh, move to the text view uh, and go to activity.mail.xml. Yeah, you can get the familiar with these things. Uh, so then the uh, this one you can see this is the text view. So this is the button that I inserted. Uh, this is the default one. Uh, so under this, uh, you can see I'm going to remove this. Otherwise, it's difficult to explain. Let's delete this button. Okay. Uh, you can see this is the text view. Under this text view, uh, you can see these are the available layout view. Uh, that means width and the weight. So this is the text, okay? Mm, according to your practical guide, uh, so these are the layout width, wrap context, uh, layout height. I think you have some idea about XML. Did you do this XML for your web application, web technology module? MXL, sorry, XML part? Uh, not deeply, madam. Okay. No need to. Okay. So you can, this is for change the layout width. This is the height. So this is for text. So these are the automatic, automatically generated. Uh, some attributes. Let's discuss these things uh, when you are developing an app. Uh, so try to change this text, appear text. You can change this appear text according to your preference. Let's try like this. Change it with your name. Appear text. Change the default text with your name. Replace the, the replace default text using your name okay i'm going to change my one also try to change and run the application check with the this is working or not try to change the name of your it takes some to shut down my application. My connection is also unstable. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay. In hello world. Why is it? Try this. Try with this one. Try to change. Is this working? Work to that. Yeah, I save it. Let's try again. I think I'll try.
you need to change the text property as my android my first android app then run the application and see the output Follow number 16, change the text property of the text view as my app, first application, the my first Android app, then run the program, okay? In my case, it's still running. Try to run this one. Uh, it takes some time so until it finish. Okay, let's stop from uh, this part. Now, that means now let's stop from uh, question number 16. Uh, try to do others. Uh, try to do others uh, as you are in free. Uh, then uh, let's move into our lecture note one. Uh, that means lecture one. In this case, uh, now we already discussed about android application development that means how to set up the environment and what are the needed uh, java installment and also how to start android application that means android studio and how to create new project and how to uh, manage some main files available in the android studio then let's discuss uh, and also we discuss about how to choose the project uh, and how to configure them uh, and so on uh, then when we consider about this one designing a ui uh, so under activity.main xml file uh, we discuss about uh, this view uh, you can see uh, this is the layout view uh, of this activity <coughs> underscore main xml file uh, so you can see right hand side that means uh, this side uh, some properties available of the widgets you can include any widget this this is this is the widget in this case uh, this is the widgets compound you can uh, drag and drop any widgets uh, according to your preference for the for this uh, for this layout uh, then uh, you can find the uh, properties in right hand side okay and in next week uh, let's discuss let's create a small application so then about creating an activity uh, when consider about activity uh, we can create new activity by extending the activity class so one of its subclass you know when you consider about uh, android sorry java 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 is consist with main four object oriented concept uh, encapsulation polymorphism uh, inheritance and so on uh, so this extending facility available with inheritance uh, in inheritance uh, you can see class hierarchy like this so like this uh, so this is the parent class this is the subclass uh, subclass can inherit the parent class that means sub some class can use uh, any features that means any method or any variables available in the super class so this process is known as uh, inheritance Ex is, uh, allowing to use existing features and methods uh, so you when creating a new activities uh, you can extend main activity that means you can extend activity class or subclass of it so in sometimes uh, in hierarchy you can see this can inherit this so this class okay uh, then to create this uh, ui of the activity we must use the weaves layout fragments so we can use uh, weaves to 
weaves and layouts and fragments to uh, create an UI of an activity. That means uh, to create an activity. So UI widgets and controls are known as weaves. Uh, and when you consider about layouts, there are many layouts. Uh, let's discuss the uh, type of layouts in next day. Uh, then the fragments. Uh, so we can define the segments in UI by using this fragments uh, component. Uh, then, so this set content view method can be used to, that means this method is used to assign the UI to the activity. So these are the main things available under this activity so you can see this is the activity uh, that means this is the uh, active, that means this is a, this is the application manifest file uh, so when we add a new activity to to an application we need to register it with the manifest so this is the Wait, this is automatically generated when you create in an activity. Then we discuss about a virtual device configuration, how to create a new virtual device uh, and also select a system image. We already discussed these things. Okay. I think now you have some basic idea about uh, mobile application development as well as how to work with Android uh, Studio. You can see this is already wrong. Um, okay. Lecture number two. Uh, this is uh, this is the lecture number two. Uh, so under this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about design consideration. Uh, let's discuss these things in next day before. In the end of the session, do you have any issues or any questions or any doubt? Let's discuss these things in next day. Other than our demo, I had a question at the end of the current. I could take an article at the current pull one get the ready. You can try these things at home. Uh, we already did up to question number 16. You can try others' questions. Uh, by yourself uh, when you are free. Do you have any questions? If you have any question, now it's time to raise your questions. Madam. Okay. मैं मैडम ने एप पे ये वर्शन है मैं तो रत्ती एक ही थी मैं को हम देख कराने के लिए मैं एक एक वर्शन ऐसे बोलते हैं कि क्यों सपोर्ट कराने हैं इतने पर आप जो को आप को हम देख वर्शन क्या ना हरी एक टम मैं एक टम एक हरी नो के लिए दाना करने क्या ना मना तो क्या लगता है कि आ भी मैं देखो वाला प्रोजेक्ट के में में Project Hadandi. Ah, it took a put of it and all a choose current device at the ticket with the right the enemy or Palana Metana AVD or or हमें कम में में और करना है क्योंकि ये अदाल वर्शन ने कहते का कंपैटिबल है ना एपीआई लेवल लेके तो हमारे यारा सजेस्ट कराने हाँ मैंने नहीं देखा ना अभी तुमको वेने का एक्सीलेट कर ले पालूं एक्सेस फाइल या नो आइडिया कॉपीज यू कैन सी सम Let's try. We all have tried color balance. Some have a mirror color. The other day, no, some have versions available. And I have to go to any available. If I try, all it will be select current. Then you say, okay, show it up. Okay, 
think. Okay. Okay, Bhuta. Is it clear? Yes, madam. Okay, what about others? Uh, Softia 1925, 19B125, no. Okay, I think no other thing. No, yeah. no need to put your student number and the name into the chat. Uh, this is we create virtual device that means uh, we create this android virtual device manager for only testing purpose don't, so don't worry about it okay i think no questions uh, so let's wind up the session uh, thank you